Scheduler options include defining business hours, hours visible on the schedule calendar, number of previous days to display, setting a number of other related parameters. Regular business hours. Each business day must be set up with start and end times. To set the start time, click on the Day button. Doing so will initially set start and end times as 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and paint the button green. Repeat this process for each day of the week you're open, then modify the times as needed by clicking on the down arrows. Hours visible on the schedule. Set the system to display the portion of the day you want displayed in the calendar view. Typically, this would be set to include 30 or 60 minutes of cushion before and after regular business hours. Show last number of days. This is the number of days to display in the calendar from the current date. You may experiment with this setting to meet your specific needs. A typical setting might be 15 or 30 days. However, if your shop has a larger number of appointments per day, you may want to use a lower setting. Auto adjust appointment time. This default setting is provided to save users time and effort when actual order hours increase due to additional work being sold. The appointment time will automatically be extended in the scheduler to reflect this change. It's recommended to leave this turned on. It can be turned off at the individual appointment level if desired. Drop-off time. Provides an opportunity to set a default drop-off time automatically filled in saving you some time as you create a new appointment. Select the most popular drop-off time and enter it here. It can always be changed at the individual appointment level as needed. Match drop-off to start time. Use this option if you prefer a simpler approach where drop-off time matches start time. Opening schedule starts in. Select the tab you prefer to display first when you click on the scheduler button. This can be the original scheduler view, appointments, shop events, or schedule request if using online appointments with social CRM. Vehicle alert tab is reserved for a future feature deployment. Holiday setup. The import button provides access to a list of standard U.S. holidays that can be added into the calendar. To create an additional holiday or event not listed, Click on the Add button, enter a name, confirm occurrence type, then date or occurrence pattern as needed. Be sure to click Save for any holidays created, then click the red X to close the Holiday Setup window when finished. Scheduler Refresh Interval This setting allows users to control how often the appointments in the scheduler refresh during the workday. For workstation computers that are not busy scheduling or manipulating appointments, it would make sense to set them to have a less frequent update. This will also improve the scheduler's overall performance.